everyone and welcome again in a new video tutorial today guys and as again as per the request of many of you and to help you also to solve the issue of 100 percent disk usage this video in this video i will propose to you some solutions which you can try to solve that problem however i would first suggest to you guys to try to find out why do you have that problem and why that's happening to your computer but before that, I will give you some of the reasons which can be the, the issue. And you can try to use my solutions. And if it works, then you can identify the problem from where it was coming. First, the issue of full disk usage can be related to multiple and several issues. For example, when you are, when you are working, Windows is updating the system in the same time on the, on the computer background. The second thing is that on your hard drive disk, you have less than two gigabit left uh, as free space. And you can know that, or you can check that, if you can see that here, instead of having blue color or green color, you have a red color and the space show only few giga left. And by putting the mouse on it, it will show you space free, as you can see, and the space free should be like one or two giga or maybe less, then you have to make some free space on your hard disk. Also, one of the issue can be the low speed of the hard disk. Each hard disk has its own property. Some of them are 5,400 RPM and 504,000 RPM. And this is mean run per minute or turn per minute. And some of, some of the hard disk are 7,200 RPM and others are with 10,000. So the more you have of RPMs, the faster is your computer, uh, the faster is your disk. So basically some people, they are using some programs which are heavy in terms of memory, disk usage, etc. And they might, or maybe you have a processor which requires 7,200 disk RPM, but you have only as a speed a hard disk with 5,400. Then it can be that the issue. So it can be, as I said, the speed. The other thing is that it can be related to a virus on your computer. You see, for example, that you can see that by, for example, you don't have many files on the computer. The computer is new. You have only 10 gig of, of files, but you see that the hard disk here is full and red. Also, it can be related to accumulation of errors on the disk. And this can be done by, for example, sometimes you are in harsh. You don't want to click. You don't want to come here and to click shut down. You just, so then what you do, you just press the button on the keyboard until the computer turns off or you just unplug the cable and this can lead to multiple errors or bad disks or bad sectors and this can really damage the hard disk and it can even kill it so we have been now describing the issue and what it can be related to now we get, we are going to give solution now i will give you two type of solution hardware one and software one so basically the hardware one what i will suggest to you if you have some money I would suggest to you, for example, to upgrade your hard disk. For me, I have 500 giga. I'm using a lot of files, uploading, downloading a lot of films. Then better for me to get 500 giga, uh, an addition of 500 giga or even a terabyte or two terabytes if it's the case. Otherwise, you can get also the same, the same hard disk with 500 giga, but you can get, get a faster one. You have 5,400 RPM disk you can try to get a 7,200 or even 10,000 RPM. Otherwise, you can, if you have the old hard drive disk, you can switch to the new generation, which are faster, stronger, which are the SSD, and they are really faster than the normal disks. Also, you can try to make some free space on your hard disk by exporting all personal files, pictures, films, uh, personal videos. You can put them to an external hard disk to save space, and this might also solve the issue. If, if it's not the case, and if it's not what you are facing or if it's not what you want to do, then I will give you the software solution or the setting solution. First of all, we will go to our taskbar. You might have it here in the down. I have it on the left. And you click with the right button of the mouse and you open the task manager. So from here, So from here, guys, you will go to on the task manager. If you don't have the view like this, don't worry. It just if you have this view, it just be a core because you are showing uh, less details. So you click just on more details. This will open this view for you. You go to 
you go to start up here and from here we will disable each program which we don't need to have it working in the background or turning on when microsoft turn on or when the computer turn on so i will just disable these services because i don't need them and that's it so disabling these services will save for me some space on the disk because the programs are not running on the background and also some space on the um, on the ram and even on the processor and to check how many how much cpu you are using or memory using or disk you can or network you can always check here on the processes on the task manager from here also you can on the services you can also check the services which are running and here their status and you can also try to disable some of the services which you don't need to do so you can also do it either from here or you can just go to your search tab and you type services this will be able to open the services or you just go to ms config you type ms config and you open the system configuration let's do one by one so first of all for my general startup i selected selective startup so it just turn on or or run the things which i wanted to be run when windows is turning on on the services i will deselect each services of programs which i don't need for example i have adobe photoshop and there is the update happening at the same time i will just turn it off because i don't need it and you can even click here to disable it you can just click disable or enable and you will look for each service which you don't need however please be careful do not disable the ones related to windows because the, those are related uh, with the windows are very important like updates security reasons so please don't disable the ones which you don't know about. If you want to know which, what, which one to disable, you can always get a look on the internet and you can choose which one to disable, which one to not. And after doing what you want, you just click apply and you click OK, and this should solve the issue. There is also this view on the services after, as we open it from the loop. And from here, for example, if, if you have something which you don't want, you can just, for example, disable it here or some for example the xbox for instance xbox live games save xbox live out managers these services i don't have them to be running on my background because i'm not a gamer so i just disable them please be careful do not disable windows updates because if you do it and then you try to update as per normal it wouldn't work for you and also the firewall if it's not running you will not be able to do the updates and security updates are very important after you do that, for example, for me, I don't have this text meet. I can just click on it two times. I click disable, I click apply, or I click stop, and then apply, and then okay, and the service will be disabled. And here you can find a description of what, what it does, that specific service. For instance, I will just close. I will just close all of this, and I will go back. That, that's from, from one side. From the other side, we will go and we will make sure that we are setting our updates how they are delivered. So we'll just type again settings and we will open and then we'll go to updates and security. And from here, we will click from Windows updates, we will click on advanced option. Here, you have to select notify to schedule a restart because if it's the automatic one, then you might be working doing something and your computer is turning, uh, is restarting automatically or something. So you don't want to be bothered. And from here, you have to choose how updates are delivered. By default, you will have it on. This section means that your computer will be updating other computers on the same network. So I would suggest to you just to disable it because it's consuming your internet, your processor, etc., and even your disk. And then we'll go back. And you can also go to privacy settings and you will go to background application. And from the background application, you can, you can disable each application which you are not using, like Microsoft Edge, People, Phone, all these applications. If you don't need them, you disable them and then they will not be using the background space. Also, background feedback and diagnostic, it is using also your disk, using all, all what you are um, using your computer at the same time with you. So I will just suggest you to change it and to leave it to the basic. 
Also, you can check on other services. If something is running and you don't need it, you can always turn it off to save disk and to save also processor and run. Also on the general section, here you can change the privacy settings and uh, to disallow some of the some of the applications from running on the background and this will help you a lot to improve disk usage that's all concerning the the settings also guys just bear in mind when windows is getting updated please uh, schedule uh, your windows updates you can do that by um, changing choose choose how win how updates are delivered and you click on notify to schedule a restart and when the Windows updates itself, it will ask you to schedule the restart time. It's from the advanced option on Windows updates. So that was also another solution. The last one, it's you go to your loop and you check if all the drivers are installed for, for your disk. So you type service manager, uh, sorry, device manager. And you open the device manager. And from here, you go to disk drives. You click on it. You click on the arrow to open. You click on it. And here, update driver software. You click on it. And here, search automatically for updates. But please be bear in mind that you have to be connected to internet because Microsoft will look online for drivers for your, for your hard drive. So you click search. And it, there is two possibilities. It will tell you either the driver of the soft uh, or the best driver software of your device already installed, or it will show you that there is some updates available and you can always select to install them. That was all for the disk. And also, guys, bear in mind to not run multiple programs, uh, multiple heavy programs like Adobe Photoshop in the same time with Adobe After Effects, because this is for sure will overuse your disk and will overuse your memory. As you can see now, the disk usage is zero percent. I hope this video tutorial was useful to you guys. If you still need help or assistance, you can always contact us and we'll reply to you. Uh, if you like this video, please click like, share and subscribe to receive our latest video. Thanks for watching and talk to you soon in a new video.